Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, William. How are you? <coughs> That's great, teacher. Okay, William. Uh, look, I am preparing what I am going to help you with. Ya lo estoy preparando, okay? Thanks, teacher. If not tomorrow, on the weekend. Si no mañana, en el fin de semana. Teacher, una one question. Este, mañana habrá clase, siempre. Yes, sure. Okay. Si no le envío mañana, eh, el fin de semana, ¿ok? Perfecto. Great, great, excellent, excellent. So, how are you? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Uh, very well. <laughs> ok, as I ask you, how was, como le pregunté, ¿cómo estuvo? You answered to me. Usted me contesta, it was very well. Okay. Pre pregúnteme de nuevo. How was your day? It was very well. Why? ¿Por qué? Why? ¿Por qué va? Este... Okay. Because, siempre que le pregunten con why, usted va a contestar because. Why is porque de pregunta y because es porque de respuesta. Hi Francisco. Sí. Pesado, okay. este, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, okay, you tell me like this. It was a heavy day. It was a heavy It oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Perdón, la primera palabra, it it was a heavy deal. Day. Perfect. Perfect. Well, hey, chair, how are you? Fine, Francisco. Fine. Thank you. Well, William, uh, it's nice to have you here. Thank you very much. Hello, Francisco. How are you? How was your day? Yeah, I'm fine, teacher. Uh, today was my off day. My day off. Yep. Today was my day off. Yeah. You say my off day. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but this is today was my day off. Oh, that's cool. And tell me, what do you usually do on your day off? What are your activities on your day uh, off? I'm really nothing because I try to rest all day, but now I'm still with my family to have a, a, a dinner, but it's okay. I think so it was a great day, but but not do it. I'm not doing nothing today. Okay, well, that's cool. I mean, you need to relax. Yeah. That's something very, very important. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, and see something about my Welcome. I have troubles with my cell phone. I don't have camera. For instance, I don't use it. That's why. That's why. Cuando quiere decir es por eso, es por eso que you that's say why, like this. Okay. That's why you for Dan can't use it. That's why I cannot use it. Or I cannot that's use. That's why I can't use it. Oh, really? Wow, that's a problem. Try to fix it, try to fix it. Remember, Insafor is checking that, the cameras, okay? Yeah, I know it. Well, so tell me, what's your schedule for tomorrow, Francisco? What's your schedule? ¿Cuál es su horario? My schedule for tomorrow, it's the 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's from? It's from 10, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh my gosh, it's a long day. Yeah, tomorrow was, uh, tomorrow will be a, uh, a hard day. Yeah, well, that's the way it is, man. Yeah, you know, I am this only to take easy the day with I think so was be great for me. 
Yeah, I mean, that's what matters. I mean, we need to take it easy. Otherwise, it gets like too stressful. Yeah, I don't want to, stay, to be stressful tomorrow. <laughs> to be stressed. To be stressed, yeah. Stressful, or, or you can say, or to be stressed, or you can say to be stressed out. Stress out, yeah, stress out. Yeah. Well, yeah. Welcome to the class, Francisco. Relax. We are going to have fun today. We've got many activities to do. Okay. Thanks, teacher. To you, Mr. Nicolas. Hello. How are you? Please turn on your microphone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, mister. How's everything? How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, okay. And how was your day, mister? Good. Today is very, uh, uh, very working. Oh, really? Yeah. I, uh, this day, I... Mm, I have me, me, meet meetings with a doctor. Meetings with a ooh, doctor. Ooh, ooh. Okay, meetings or appointment? Tuvo cita con el doctor? No, reunión. Meetings. Okay, then, yeah, then, then some meeting. Meeting with a doctor. I need uh, information with, um, with calidad. Quality? Quality, uh, quality water, waters, and uh, quality waters, waters, uh, liberadas. Set free. Set free with uh, uh, buildings, uh, hospital, uh, industries, and other, other tips. Uh, types. Types. Okay, well, let me see. Uh, in this case, are you talking about disposal of? Cuando me dice aguas liberadas, está hablando de las que ellos, eh, aguas ya servidas? Sí, yes. Okay, in this case, it's not set free. In this case, due to the type of, of material is disposed of. Dispose of water, yeah. water is uh, dispose of water or dispose, dispose, dispose of, of water. Dispose of water. Okay. My meet my meeting is uh, for the eso. Era sobre eso. Was about that. Was about that. I uh, my meeting is was about that. Perfect. Excellent. Interesting. So you had a very interesting day today. Sorry, teacher, I don't understand you. You had a very interesting day today. Ah, uh, yes. Cool, yes, cool. it is it, a interesting day. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Nicolas. Okay, thank you, teacher. Oh, Francisco, you fixed up your camera. Yeah, teacher, right now I will try to fix my cell phone because for the Android is more low and can playing or can processing the information for Zoom. Oh, that's a problem. I love your art, man. And, and then I get to try to download more other, other Zoom, but light. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. What I told you is that I like your art in your arm. Who? My arm? What is art? Art. Art. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, sure. It's cool. I have another one. I'm going to show you. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. 
Yeah, 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 thank you, teacher. I like very, I, I pretty got, like to uh, all the You got three or four? No, I got one, two, three, four, and five. Five. Cool. Yeah. That's nice. That hurts. Yeah, <laughs> it hurts. Mostly. This is the most, this, in this, this part of my arm. This hurts. This one hurts. This area hurts. Mm, not much. I think so was hurt this part for to the bone. Yeah, because yeah. of or due to due to the video. Due, due to uh, touch the bone and ah, uh, it's it's feel like uh, some. I don't know what to say. It's harmful. It's harmful when when the needle touches the bone. It's harmful. Yeah, when the you got it. Yeah, duele. that's yeah. It, it, hurts. it hurts very much. A but lot. but I really like all tattoos, <laughs> and I really yeah. want to do it another one in this place, in this place, in this place. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Well, let's see. Uh, in the chest, if you want. Uh, Try to build that muscle in the picture trata yeah. de hacer músculo first. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to hurt. I think so was so soon. <laughs> well, thank you. Interesting. Thank you very much, Francisco. Thank you, teacher. Daniel Eduardo. Hello, good evening. Mr. Daniel Osegueda. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Uh, pretty good because today one company that we sent some offer. I don't know if the right word. Yeah, uh, offer. offer. Yeah. Uh, told they they will accept it. So. Oh, that's uh, cool. Probably, yes. Tomorrow they give us an anticipo. No estoy seguro cómo se dice. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo conozco esa palabra. Hold on, hold on. Mm, es cuando hablamos del enganche del anticipo, es la prima. Me, deme un segundo. I need to remember because I, re, I know the word. Voy a tratar de recordarla. Yo la conozco la palabra. Just let me, let me. It will come out. Ya vendrá, no. ya vendrá. Eh, so, so we can start working probably Monday. Oh, really? That's nice. Yeah, really nice. Okay, let's see. Retainer. Retainer. Ah, uh, retainer. Yep. Or you can say an advance payment. But the, the most correct correct is ah. the retainer. Okay. Retainer. okay. The, the correct one is a retainer. Oh, that's cool. So Monday you start working on a new project. That's excellent. Good news for the company. Sorry? That's excellent. Those are good news for the company. Those what? Those are good news. Sorry, the internet was a little slow. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Those are good news. Yes, really good news. Well, good for you. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay, remember, in, a, in an informal conversation, people can tell you congrats, okay? Make it short. In a formal way, this is formal, I tell you, oh, congratulations. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Daniel. Welcome to the class. Congrats Please is other form, teacher. Congrats. It's, info it's informal, Nicolas. I informal. In, in, yep. in what moment? In what moment is use of the congrats? Friends, for example? friends, family. Okay. 
only only the uh, no meat no meat no 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 okay it means you gotta be formal so congratulations okay you can say in informal in, with friends and family you can say congrats you can say good for you you can say that's cool that's informal okay Thank you. Let's see, where's Sylvia? Sylvia, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, how are you? I am just fine, Sylvia. What about you? Tell me, how was your hey. day? Everything fine, teacher. Um, today was my day off. Oh, cool. Um, Wasn't it Tuesday? Yes, I cannot yes but today, but um this month uh, my day off uh, is gonna be has, is going to be different yes because oh. of some meetings and because of my co-workers are receiving a training so i have to oh. like to cover to cover oh. those uh, those shifts shifts right so you're going to be it's not going to be uh, fixed yes but when I when I'm talking about um, un turno, it's like yes. shifts, right? Yep, shifts. Shifts. Turno yes, I, I have to like to cover their shifts, and I have to I had to change my my day off. But next week, uh, it's going to be the normal day Tuesday. Okay, well. Yes. It's cool. It's good in a way. I mean, it's something different. Yes, it's something different. <laughs> but I do the and, same when I stay home. I didn't how, do anything. How do you like it? How do you like it to have it in a different day? Uh, I feel sometimes the same because uh, when it's my day off, I just like stay home. And sometimes I go to visit my friends my friend or my best friend comes to visit to visit me so um, today in the morning I just stayed home I tried to to study a little bit English and then I prepared my my lunch I watch I watch uh, some videos on YouTube and then I feel good because uh, I feel well rested. That's cool. So you really, yes. uh, you really enjoy yourself. Yes, <laughs> I like to be here in my house and spend my day only with me. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Only with me. You say it like this: on my own. Yeah, on my own. On my own. On my own. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much, Sylvia, and welcome okay. to the class. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Hey, Shanita. Hello. How are you? I'm good. And you? Uh, how, is how, is your, how is your arm? Well, right now, I uh, I just wash my... my, my um, Perula? Yep. I just wash it. Because you know, <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, so I just washed it. And Thank you. So, right now, I am being very careful because of the movements, because it hurts yeah. here. Because you don't move here. Your, your wrist. Well, actually, I can move it up to here. That's it. And, and here. That's all. This is all rango. Okay. That's the whole range of movement. And let's see it like this. And, and you feel this, hard? Yeah, this is all. Esto es todo. Okay. And I can do, let's see, I can do up to here. That's all. I cannot put it like this. Okay. But it's better than two weeks ago. Yes. It's a slow, you know, it takes time. Okay. Take a time. What about yeah. you? Yeah, what about you? Well, what have you, I have what you a, been doing? 
I, I have a normal day. Um, I have a, some cases and some code. Well, I have a, one case that was weird because I don't know what happened with the software. Uh, crash the system and how do you say sacaba del sistema? Uh, logged out? Mm, yeah, maybe log out. The user um, is it's, it's not, not common. Then oh, really? we need to, to make a testing and view the process with the user for the found the problem. But in, uh, in order to, in order to, in order to find the problem. Okay. In order in, to find the problem. The problem. In order, in order to find the problem. But it's okay. okay. It was a, a a good day. Okay. I I I I feel a uh, heat or hot. Calor. Hot. Hot. Yeah. yeah it's, it's hot. No. Yeah. I feel hot. No, that's something different. Okay. <laughs> no well, comments. Well, no where comments. where no is comments. the correct word, teacher? No, that I mean that's tell okay. me, that's tell okay. me. <laughs> the subject is the problem. It it feels hot today. Okay, okay. It feels hot today. Yeah, it feels hot. I, you I, say, I, I feel hot. It, I mean, it's okay, but could be misunderstood. Está bien, pero podría malinterpretarse. Okay, okay. I just arrived to my house a few minutes because I, I went to run with my pet. Oh, really? Yeah, and then I, I, I don't feel hot. <laughs> the day yeah. is is hot. Yeah, it is. It's been. It's the. Sahara dust. Yeah, maybe it's the Sahara dust, the problem. Sahara, Sahara. Sahara, Sahara dust. Yeah. Man, it's hot. It's pretty yeah. hot. Terrible hot. But anyway, what can we do? Thank you very much, Janine, and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Now that you remind me of pets, Ambar, how's your dog? Tell me. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Uh, well, my pet is better than yesterday because I took my pet to the vet okay. today because she, she injure, injured her power. Injured. Se lastimó. Her power. Yeah, I remember. Yesterday. I remember you told me yesterday. At night. I yes. remember you told me yesterday. So, uh, is it any better? Did the doctor attend the pet, the little dog? Yes, I I took my pet to the vet, and he, how do you say, el injecto? Oh, a shot, an injection. Shot? Yeah, a shot. Really? It's, but then yes. it's better. Entonces ya está mejorando. It's getting better. Yes, yes. Eh, bueno, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero ayer estaba cojeando, pero ya no. Gracias a Dios. Limping, limping. Blinking. Say it like this. Yes, limping. Limping, cojeando. She, limping, cojeando. yesterday she limping, but... She, Today, she, was no. she, she was limping. She was limping, but today. No more. Okay, today, no more. Today, no more. Okay, that's great. That's great. Excellent. So, yes. what about your job? How was today? Was it a good day? Um, a relaxed day because I, I didn't have a lot of job uh, work sorry oh that's cool yes that's excellent that's excellent 
Yeah, I am missing one of your partners in crime. Me está faltando uno de sus compañeros de crimen. I mean, uh, Roxana, yeah, she's missing today. But there's Maria. Thank you very much, Amber. Uh -huh, Thank Maria. you, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm just great. What's you doing? Uh, today is my day off. <laughs> oh, cool. A lot of people today have day off today. <laughs> and I was a relaxed day. I, it was. It was. It was a relaxed day. I saw uh, my father and my mother. Okay. And I went to visit. I, I went, went to, to visit, visit uh, my mother, but my father, I only see him um, pass a uh, um, poco tiempo, a little time, or uh, yeah, a few so minutes. A few minutes in the morning, and with my mother's day in the afternoon, and I went to visit my grandmother. And, and only that. <laughs> and, and just that. And just that. Okay. And what about the boyfriend? You didn't attend your boyfriend. Come on. Yes. And my and boyfriend. You just you just go to your boyfriend for the car. That's the thing. Uh -huh. But do they not only uh, lend me the Sunday? Sunday? On Sundays. On Sunday, because I I realize uh, many mandados, errands, errands, and okay. Pero decimos así, Lisa, because I run, I because run, I run many errands, many errands, because I run many errands. Hago muchos mandados. That's the meaning. Hago muchos mandados. Um, but today, uh, he's, he's, él, uh -huh, he's, yeah, he's arrived on my grandmother, grandmother house. Grandmother oh, house. he went to visit also. That's cool. Uh -huh. um, de regreso. <laughs> on the know. way back. On the way on the back. Way back um he passed he passed um, i don't know dejando mi mama <laughs> okay dropping my mom oh like this uh, dropping drop, my mom off dropping my mom off and them for me um uh -huh. And that for oh, me. Oh, and then he took you home. Uh -huh. Yes, and I stay in the house a, a, a little time, and then uh, he is going to house. Okay, and then you told him, shoo, shoo, go, go. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. Because I have a class. And... Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Thank you very much, Maria, and welcome to the class. <laughs> You're welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see. Elvia. Hello, Elvia. How are you? Hello, teacher. Elvia, you got, a, you got a fish tank. Yes, I fish. Oh, that's cool. I like fish. They're nice. <laughs> how many fish do you have? How many? One, two, three? How three. Many? Three. three fish. Okay. Okay. Uh, have you held your fish tank for long? Tiene mucho de tenerlo? Um, one week. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. That's nice. I love fish. Me encantan peces. Fried, you know, I with know. onion. <laughs> Fritos con cebolla de arroz. No. <laughs> I know. Okay, welcome to the class, Elvia. Hey, 
Hey, Fernando, how are you? Sorry. <laughs> Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. How was your day? My day is was usually, usually, no, as, as usual. As usual, the same routine. As usual, with many, uh, a lot of work, a lot of okay. pain. Okay. Being now, a lot of meetings. Now, uh, you know, now, Fernando, I got you know, a question for you. Like, like, like you say, tell me. Okay, look, Fernando, you are applying for a position in a company. You remember the homework? Yes, <laughs> yes, okay. I remember. <laughs> okay, that's good that you remember. Now, I, I remember. You are, you are applying for a position. Which position are you applying for? A que posición no va a aplicar? Uh, I like to apply to IT manager. Okay, a manager, perfect. Now tell me, I am the, 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 the interviewer, soy el entrevistador. What benefits are you going to bring to the company as an employee uh, if we hired you? I think I will, I will be a great uh, asset. I will be a great, a great asset to this company because my experience in management of, management small and big projects related with IT area and my my experience in uh, working with with other teams and applying the method or methodology method. yeah the method Met the methodology. the methodology of scrum Okay. And before that, I I, I worked in, 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 in my last job for 10 years. And I get and I got experience in, in other areas like um, manufacturing, human resources, uh, tra training, uh, okay. etc. Perfect. Remember. One word that is key is this one. Remember always to include this word committed, comprometido. Committed, okay. That means comprometido. Thank you very much, Fernando. Excellent, okay. excellent. Hey, Walter, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. I am happy. Oh, why? Tell me, why are you happy yeah. today? Ah, because uh, we are had a payment. Oh, payday! <laughs> yeah, payment, yes. Okay, you say it. You say it like this. Uh, you say today was long payday. Today was payday. To okay, today was payday. Yes, teacher. That's cool. Uh, yes. And the boy and the boy in the supermarket. Okay. Yes, yes. That's nice. That's nice. Yes. I remember when I used to get happy due to payday. Yo me acuerdo esos días lejanos cuando yo me alegraba el día de pago. I was young at that time. <laughs> no, teacher, aunque lo deba todo, pero, <laughs> pero contento yeah. porque que se haya un poquito. <laughs> yeah, I used to remember when I. When I got yes. excited due to payday, man, and nowadays, the, the, oh, terrible. And the compromise on the, the, my the family and my house, the compromise uh, and your house and, and my house, in my yeah. house. Yes, yeah. uh, and the pay, and the payment and the- Actually, in this the, case, it's not compromise. In this case, it's responsibilities. Uh, responsibility, yes. Responsibility uh, and buying the. How do you say comida here? Heat? Food, food, food. Okay, okay. And the buying the food and the and the payment and the buying 
Um, paying the bills. Paying the bills and recibo de luz. Okay. The cable. Now listen, listen, listen. In general, we say paying the bills. In general, decimos paying the bills. Eso es pagar los recibos. Ah, uh, okay. paying the bills. But, oh, okay. but when you talk about electricity, electricity? The, the telephone, water, cuando nos referimos a la electricidad, el teléfono, el agua, oh, okay. gas, those are called like this. Ah, oh, okay. Hablamos utilities. Utilities. Paying the utilities. Oh. Pay the utilities, okay. Oh, interesting, very good. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay. Thank you, Walter, and welcome to the class. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see. Wilfredo, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine. Um, well, okay. Uh, oh, all oh, that's okay, teacher. Perfect. Yes. Now, Wilfredo, this is a job interview. Esta es una entrevista de trabajo. Tell me a little okay. bit about yourself, please. What do you understand. What do you want to know about me, teacher? Well, I don't know. Tell me about you as a worker. How are you as a worker? What okay. are your goals? Yeah. ¿Cuáles son sus metas? Okay. Uh, yesterday, teacher, we talked about the, what we what uh, we can do to or what we can provide to the company. Okay. But I guess, teacher, that uh, I oh okay, I'm I'm going to tell you about our goals in my company, teacher. The prima, primary goals. Um, are, for example, quality, shipping, and efficiency. Okay, um, those are the, the, the primary goals. But then we have another goal, for example, the attendance, turnover. And maybe um, reduce to the wages or rework and there it is it is interesting because when when we start to to check the the all goals we have in my company 20 goals we have to we have to explain about about that 20 goals maybe save it it is another <clears throat> another goal important goal yeah. okay perfect yeah, because that's enough Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, sorry, but I need to get the attendance. Let's see. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Present teacher. Roxana Ivet Asencio de Mejía. Oopsie. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. 
Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Thank you, Walter. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present teacher. Francisco Jose Menéndez Aguilar. Present teacher. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Okie dokie. Let's see, guys. Well, let's see. Let's see. I still got time. Let me see. Yeah, I got time for one more. Let's see. Who is it going to be? Who is it going to be? Janira. Well, uh, I applied for information security officer. Okay, cool. Yeah. You know, actually, actually, I used to have a student that he held that position and he works for the Banco Central de Reserva. Okay, nice. Uh, I have a, a, manas, a, a master degree in information security management. And then I know I have a, a knowledge about ISO uh, 2027 okay. 001 and ETF. And I have really commit to the information of the company. I am. I am really I am. committed. I am. I am committed. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Anita. Very specific. I like that. Thank you, teacher. Daniel. Daniel Eduardo. Hi. Okay, Daniel. So let me see. You are applying to a position. Tell me, what's the position you are going to apply? Well, actually, you got your own company, right? Este... Yeah. Maybe I was thinking that, yeah. You can come. Okay. Contratar. Hire. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. I'll tell you how. Okay, you are talking about hire. And payments. Hire us. Okay, Daniel, what services oh, do you provide? You can hire. I mean, what's uh, we provide that's for me? Like... Yeah, yeah, continue, please. If you hire our company, you will have very professional people and we make all the maintenance of maintenance building. And actually, we can evaluate the state of the structure. So we can prove that the building is in good. Este, that the building is for support some. OK, that the building is reliable. That the building mm. is reliable. Okay. okay, that's the idea. Now, listen, maintenance, maintenance. Okay. Maintenance. Perfect. Thank yes. you very much. Now, guys, I'm sorry, I don't have Thank time you. for everybody to do this activity. So I need you, all of you, to type digit on your cell phone, write down in a piece of paper that info and take a picture or attach it, send it to me, okay? Necesito que me envíen eso, on writing, so I can check it out. You can do it in the in the group, okay? Lo pueden hacer a grupo, if you want. If you want to send it privately to me, it's okay. But I need that from everybody. Necesito que todos me lo manden, okay? You can do it tonight after the class. It's not necessary you do it today, right now, okay? Now let's continue. Is there any question? No. Okay. Cool. No. 
Teacher. La ropa. Deja de estar lavando. La palabra reliable, ¿cómo la podría asociar? Me imagino que reliable, hay... reliable. Mm. In this case, I was saying the word reliable because he was talking about that they can, él me estaba diciendo que ellos pueden eh, garantizarme que el edificio es, um, que el edificio es, que la estructura del edificio es segura. Right, Daniel? So, en este contexto, cuando él me decía, eh, podemos revisar la estructura y ver que esta sea uh, reliable. El sentido que se da es de que el edificio, que la estructura es segura. Ok, William. Thanks, teacher. But also you can use that word to apply it to a person. También la podemos utilizar esa palabra cuando hablamos de una persona. Like, uh, I know for sure that Sylvia is a very reliable person. Cuando yo se lo aplico a una persona, yo digo, oh, yo estoy seguro que Sylvia es una persona reliable. Estoy diciendo que ella es, eh, que puedo depositar mi confianza en ella. Que las actividades que le voy a que le voy a asignar, se van a cumplir. So I can say, she is reliable. ¿Ok? Eso es cuando lo aplico a una persona. Shall I move on? Continúo. Yep. Ok, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, who's gonna be, who's gonna be, who's gonna be? María Luisa, hello. Hi, teacher. How I are you? A, I am fine. I got a question for you. The question is this one. How long have you worked in your company? In, in, my, co in my company, is, um, I am a, a, a partner in legal representative in my oh. company. Hey, that's interesting. So, how long have you worked there? ¿Cuánto tiempo tienen de trabajar? I, I, I have um, 20 years. Okay. I have worked. I have company. worked in the company. For 20 years. For 20 years. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, my company is um, is the auditing and accounting. Oh, interesting! Very interesting. My well, my my, yes, my experience then. is a quality control. My experience, my experience. Experience. Uh -huh. experience. Okay. Thank you very much, Maria Luisa. Now, let's see. Francisco Eduardo. Hello, mister. Hello, teacher. Tell me, Francisco, how long have you worked for your company? Uh, I have uh, around seven years. Okay. I have been in the company. Seven in seven the company years. for seven years. Teacher, eh, yes. Eh, ¿Cómo, how do you say, este, eh, en noviembre de este año se cumplen los siete años? ¿Cómo okay. diría yo eso? Okay, like this. Look, you say it. Uh, this November. Uh, Let's see. It will, will be have. 10 years. No, 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 no. It's like this. I'm sorry. It will be 10 years this coming November. It will be 10 years this coming November, like this. It will be Seran. 10 years this coming November. 
Okay, teacher. Well, thank you. Interesting. Now let's see, Nicolas, what about you? How long have you worked in your company? How long? <clears throat> yep. uh, I have a 24 years old in my company. My company is- okay. uh, I have worked, I have worked for 24 years in this company, <clears throat> okay? I have worked for 24 years in this company. Say it with me. I have worked 24 years old in my company. In Okay, quíteme el old. En este caso no aplica. Okay. Old, en este, old cuando lo utilizamos cuando decimos edad. Okay. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much, Nicolás. Okay. What's your, what's your company about? What do they do? My company, okay. Uh, the company is Azure, Azure El Salvador. It's a company um, dedicated. Yes. Dedicated to um, project of work and environmental, and environmental. Environmental. Environmental and protection of resources. Uh, natural resource. Okay, natural natural resources. Natural resources. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Oh yeah, I know Asure. I have had students from Asure. I have Sorry? had some of your co-workers. Ya tenido algunos de sus compañeros. Ah, Elvia, for example, is my my partner in the office. Oh really? Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. that's cool. Well, thank you very much, Nicolas. Okay. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mr. Osorio, good evening, how are you? Good evening. Tell me, Jose, how long have you worked in your company? I have been yes. In, yes. in my company uh, around 14 years. Oh, that's a long while. Yes, bastante. Yeah. Thank you very much. Amber, what about you? How long have you worked for this company? Amber is a new one. You're a newie. Um, yeah, I in my case, I have been working in my company around seven months. Only yeah, seven you months. told me. You told me. You told me. Roughly seven months. Thank you very much. What about you, Janina? You're the oldest in the company. Yes, uh, I have been four years in this okay, company. I have, I have been in this company for four years. I have been for four years. In this company for four years. In this company for four years. Okay, always remember the time expression goes at the end. The time expression va al final, okay? Okay, okay. Well, 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 let's see. Silvia, what about you? How long have you worked for your company? Hello, teacher. Uh, I have been working in my company for three years. Okay. Yes. Is that your first job or did you have yes. a previous one? Yeah, you are, no, this is my first you are, job. You're pretty young. How old are you, Sylvia? I am almost 22 and I started working I was when I was like 18 years old. I was okay. a girl. I was a little girl. <laughs> that was my yeah. first job. I mean, yes. you were you were barely of age. Yes. La expresión to be of age is uh, tener ser mayor de edad. Okay, that's to be of age. Of age. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, thank you. Let's see. Hey. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Oh no. Time. Sorry, I got carried on. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I get, when we are speaking, I get carried on. 
a veces cuando estamos en la conversación me dejo llevar. Ok, we need to get to another activity. I got a different question now. Let's see. Uh, oh, Daniel. Daniel, Eduardo, tell me, what's your position in the company? I am the CEO, I think. Okay. And tell me, have you occupied different uh, a different position in other companies, perhaps? Yeah. Is, um, well, I have been for three years in my own company, but I... Before? But before, is, I was... Uh, in well, I was the structural engineer for a lot of projects with uh, Walmart, Maxi Despensa, oh. and Despensa de Don Juan. Yeah, and before that, I was work in my father's company like oh, uh, always designing structures. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks. Let's see, Maria Alejandra, what about you? Have you occupied different positions in, in some other companies? I'm asking yes. about your job experience. <laughs> uh, in the past or uh -huh, in the past, I have I stay in two different companies. Okay. Uh, and what positions did you did you have in those companies? In the insurance company ASA, I I was uh, say sales official. Okay. Um, the correduría. I don't know. Mm. I'm sorry, I don't have it right here in my mind. <laughs> but in in the in this work, uh, stay, I was a coordinator. Okay, coordinator. Coordinator. Um, a coordinator for a a part of. Um, or a specific client. Okay. And this moment, um, I stay in a um, subscription auxiliary. Okay. Ah, insurance broken. Uh -huh. um, and only that. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah, you just remind me that I have to study for the exam. I'm going to study for the exam. Okay. Yeah, I'm studying for the exam for becoming an insurance broker. Okay. It may be in yes for individual uh, broken. Yep. For the exam to September. Uh, yeah, October. the one in September. Ah, yeah. okay. My boyfriend is a insur a broker. I am. Yeah, I am doing. I am in a little project right now, and I am trying to set up a small company. Estamos tratando de registrar una pequeña compañía, so we can we can work on it. But ugh, man, I have to read many, many, many information for that. Is a very good business. Is I learn a lot of different type of say, uh, insurance or security. Insurance. Insurance. insurance and is is or is beautiful and all the or todo lo que uno puede aprender or you say uh, everything you can learn yeah uh -huh. well thank you very uh -huh. much Marie okay teacher yeah let's see let's see well guys now 
Why am I asking those questions? Because those questions are related to what we are going to work with. Today, we are also in uh, unit one, the name of the unit is job listings. And the objective for today is to talk about work experience, okay? That's what we are going to be talking about. Now, let me share with you a small conversation that we have in your manuals. We are talking in your manuals. In, we are working in page number 13, okay? And let me share with you. Give me just a second because I need to set up something so we can do it Teacher. properly. Yes, mister? Will you share me please that manual? I don't have it. Okay, in a minute. Please. Yeah, okay. Please, teacher. Thank you. Let's see. Somebody send it to the group. Email on your group. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, if any one of you could help me send in the, 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 the manual again. Please, I will be. I will appreciate it because I need to do something else right now. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's here already. Now, let's see. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, here it is. Okay, what we are doing today is this. We are talking about work experience, you see? And let's see, guys. The conversation, it says here, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. You know, we always do this activity together. And just let me send you the picture so you can have it there ready for the practice. There you go. And the conversation goes like this. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Now I will record. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. I repeat one last time. Tell me about your work experience. Teacher, sorry. I can see that. It looks like blurry. Blurry. Uh, blurry. Yeah, blur. You can. Puede revisar la que les he mandado al grupo. Ahí les mandé la fotografía del texto. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. I repeat, guys, since the beginning. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. 
I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened up there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months. Until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs. You know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Let's see, guys. Now um, we are going to be working in groups. Let me create the groups. Just need to change. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Perfect. Okay, groups are created. Please jump in. Let's do the activity. Four minutes to practice. Hello. Hello. So are you practicing Hi. with Maria Luisa? Okay. Okay, there she is. Yeah, so you can practice. Hola, hola. Hello. Hola. Se congela la voz. Uh, must be your connection. Debe ser su conexión. For long. Okay. Teacher, question. Yeah, Pronunciation. Happen. 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 Happening. Happening. Yes, but very short. Happening. Happening. Okay, Happen. listen. Happening. Happening. Like that. Perfect. Happening. Okay. Uh, Wilfredo, you start. Okay. Let's do it. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just... Okay. Tell me about your work experience. 
I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, well done. And that's why I'm working in this company from 2011 to 2016. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. Okay, 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? I, I was this for an eight months until my pro my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. I came back. I came back to El Salvador. Came, came. 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 I came back to El Salvador. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. And you have not worked since or you came back? Not really. I have done some independent job. You know, but they have not been for long. It's a game. Okay. okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at uh, Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in the company. And so so let's bring everybody back. Let's chat. Okay, let's see. Almost everybody's here. Fernando Gonzalez saying Wilfredo Guardado, you are the first pair. Please, let's do it. Okay, first start, teacher. Uh, you start, Fernando. <laughs> Okay, uh, tell me about your work experience. 
I worked at the Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in the company for 2011-2016. I quit because uh, I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some in independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Independent. 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 Okay. Perfect. Marta Morales and William Rosales. Please, Marta, you start. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I was in this company from 2011 to 2016. Uh, 16, I quit because I was offered a job in Panama. And um, what happened there? I was just for a short period of time. I was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. Um, you have not worked since you came back? No, really, I have done some independent work. You know, that they have no room for long. Okay, thank you very much. Very well done. Francisco Jose and Jose Osorio. Jose Osorio, you will start, please. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm Julia. Yep, you start. Tell me about your work experience. I work in, oh, okay, sorry. I work at Unilever for five years. Actually, I work in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Now, Silvia Bendaño and Walter Mauricio. Walter, you will start. Okay, teacher. Tell me about your experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. Hey, what happened in there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And, and you had no work and since then you came back. Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, perfect. Before we continue, guys, I need to get the, the attendance again. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on. Give me just a second. Okay. Ambarelli Alparo Gómez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda. Present teacher. 
Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. Present teacher. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Let's continue. Let's see. Next one is um, Amber Alfaro and Francisco Eduardo. Please, let's do it. Who will Amber, start? You will you'll start. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. I work at Unilever for five years. Actually, I work in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened in there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent job, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, it was very, very well done, both of you. Claudia Ramos and Maria Alejandra, please. Mm -hmm. 16 or 16? 16. 16. Okay. 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 You'll start, Claudia. Tell me about work. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit actually. because actually I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for a eight months until until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have no work sign. It came back? Not really. I have done some independent job, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, perfect. Very well done. Just Claudia, remember something. ED after K sounds as a T. ED después de K no suena como una T. Worked. Worked. Mm. Okay. You gotta hit it. Damos un pequeño toquecito con la lengua. Worked. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Elvia, Jeanette, and Maria Luisa. Please, Elvia, you'll start. Okay. Okay. Tell me about. Excuse me, Tell solo me. Lo, lo busco aquí. Va, ya lo tengo en my cell phone. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Tell me about. Okay. 
Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit, I quit work because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was used for a short period, period of time. It was used for eight months until my, my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have no work since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but, uh, but they have not been for long. Okay, perfect, excellent. Just remember, Maria Luisa, worked, oh. worked. Worked. And worked. until, until. Until. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Daniel Eduardo and Nicolás Méndez. Let's see. Who we'll start? Daniel, Daniel, you start, please. Daniel, okay. Your work experience. I worked at Unilever yep. for five years. No, 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 no. Start again, please, Daniel. You start. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. Nicolás, I work turn. I work at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quiet because I was offered a new job in Panama. I think Daniel is having a little bit of problem. Let's see. Daniel, okay, you back? What happened there? It was for is it was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back. To El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Nicolas, period, period, period of time. Period. In what part period. of the future? Period of time. Okay, you say it was just for a short period of time. Okay. In Fourth this paragraph. Four. Mm. For chains. El cuarto párrafo, primera línea. It was just for a mm -hmm. short period of time. A period, sí. Yes, Pe period. Period. Yes. And Daniel, remember again, I know that it's hard. It's hard. Worked. Worked. Okay? Worked. Worked. Perfect. Let's continue. Period. Let's continue. Let's continue. Edward Ademir and Shanira Elizabeth. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever, Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in the company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And that, and what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. 
I, it was just for a month until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have no words since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent job, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, guys, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me see, just let me check on something. Yeah, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Gosh, sorry guys, I'm just trying to get something that I need to show you, but Okay, let's see. Okay, perfect. I've, I found it. Okay, now I need to show you something that I prepared for you so you can check it out. Okay, time expressions and present perfect. Do you remember present perfect tense, guys? Yes, do we remember present perfect? If you remember, uh, well, for the ones who remember, the present perfect is the tense we use in order to express an action that started in the past and has not finished yet, okay? Something that happened, in a moment in the past and the action perhaps continues. If, let's see, if this is the, if this is the past, if this is the past and this is the future, the action still continues, okay? Si tenemos el pasado y el futuro, la acción aún continúa. That's present perfect, okay? And if you remember, in order to express the present perfect tense, we use the auxiliary, have. When we are speaking in the third person, cuando hablamos en la tercera persona, we use the variation has. Let me, I'm sorry, I know that for some of you this is easy. Sé que para algunos de ustedes esto es facilísimo, but some of you uh, perhaps need the review. So let's see. Remember, we have the expressions are I have. You have to remember this, right? He has, she has, it has, we have, they have. Okay, now we have subject and auxiliary, right? In this case, we have the subject, that is the personal pronouns. We have the auxiliary, that is the verb have, or the variation for the third, third person singular has, okay? Then after this, we need to place a verb in past participle. Do you remember? I have gone, I have, oops, sorry, my bad. I have gone, I have, uh, I have played, Okay, I have dancer. I have leave. And remember, since we have the auxiliary have, desde el momento que tenemos el auxiliar have, this verb changes. Acá dice yo he ido. You have played, tú has jugado. He has danced, él ha bailado. She has lived, él, ella ha vivido. Remember, the past participle is the ending ado ido. Esa terminación ado ido después del verbo es el pasado participio. Ok. Look, it has rain. Ha llovido. We have practiced. We have practiced. Let's put a complement. 
Una manera de complemento. We have practiced English. We are still practicing English. We practiced English yesterday and we will continue tomorrow. Nosotros hemos practicado este día, ayer y continuaremos mañana. The action is not finished. So this is present perfect. They have perhaps uh, they have uh, what? Run. Ellos han corrido. Okay. Now, remember present perfect. An action that started in the past and is not finished yet. That's present perfect tense, okay? An action that started in the past and has not finished yet. Now we have, we have the subject, the structure. After the subject, we have the auxiliary. That in this case is have auxiliary can be either have or has. Right? That's the auxiliary. And then we have the main verb of the sentence, el verbo principal, the verb in past participle. Okay? And after that, we get the complement. Okay, remember, this is just a short review. Este solamente es un pequeño repaso. So we got the subject, the auxiliary, the verb in past participle, and complement. Any question up to here? Pregunta hasta acá. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Me, me too, teacher, after. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and the action, if the action that started in the past and is not finished yet, when we say I have gone, there's yo he ido. So, yes, like look, this action, no. I have gone, I have gone to classes, I have gone to work. Yo he ido a trabajar. Ya dejo de trabajar? Uh, it, it, not really. Places. I have gone to I have gone to the beach many times. He ido a la playa muchas veces. It's, it's finished. No. But Listen. Why not? I I went to the beach. Yo fui a la playa. Terminado. I have gone to the beach. Look, I have gone to the beach on my vacations. Es que tenemos que verlo con el contexto. Okay? I have gone to the beach on my vacations. He ido a la playa en mis vacaciones. Puede ser que las próximas vacaciones vaya de nuevo. Ok. Now, I went to Conchalillo three weeks ago. Sí, pero lo va a tener eternamente. Ok. Ok. I said, I went to Conchalillo three weeks ago. Fui a Conchalillo hace tres semanas. Ese está terminado. Okay, thank you, teacher. I said, I have taught English for 20 years. Yo he enseñado inglés por 20 años. Sigo siendo un profesor de inglés. And the action will continue. Tomorrow, I'm going to be a teacher again. Okay? Is it clear now? Ahora sí? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay, who had another question? ¿Quién tenía otra pregunta? Me, teacher. Yes, tell me. Yeah. Uh, you told us when the, the action that start in past and, and not finish yet. Yes. We, we talk about past, past, uh, past, uh, pasado participio, teacher. El pasado participio es esto, la forma del verbo. 
el pasado participio, perdón que lo explique en español, el pasado sí, participio es esto, mira, este verbo está en pasado participio, este verbo está en pasado participio, el pasado participio es una forma verbal, no un tiempo verbal. ¿Eh? Ah, okay. El pasado participio nos sirve a nosotros para formar el tiempo verbal que estamos trabajando, en este, que les estoy explicando en este momento, que es present perfect tense. El tiempo presente perfecto. Este es un tiempo verbal. La forma del verbo es pasado participio. Al igual que la forma presente participio, es el verbo en ING. Lo que nosotros decimos, ponerle ING al verbo, eso es presente participio. Los verbos tienen su forma base, su forma pretérita, realmente, que nosotros decimos pasado, su forma presente participio y su forma pasado participio. Esas son las formas del verbo. Las formas las utilizamos para conjugar tiempos verbales. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Sure. That's a lot of grammar. Yes, any other question? Teacher. Yes. Uh, why is perfect? That's the name of it. Así se llama. En español es el... No hay día. En español nunca lo logré entender. Creo que sería el pretérito plus cuan perfecto, creo. <laughs> And don't ask me in Spanish why it is called like that, because I don't know either. Y no me preguntan en español porque tampoco lo recuerdo. And actually, I am better at English grammar than, rather than Spanish grammar. Y yo le soy honesto, para mí es más fácil la inglesa que la española. Any other question, guys? No? Okay. Now, why am I talking about this? ¿Por qué estamos recordando eso? Okay, it's because of this. Let's go back to the presentation that I have prepared for you. Okay, let's see. Why do we use the time expressions? Because the name of this is time expressions with present perfect tense. Okay, now why do we use them? Time expressions help us express in actions in a more detailed way. Okay. Yes, remember that time expressions tell us the moment. Okay. We use already to express that something has been done or to ask questions. Usamos already to express that something has been done or to ask questions. This means ya, yeah. okay? Have you called him already? Yes, I have. Vea esto, ya, ya le has llamado? Yes, I have, no, I haven't. I have already finished the magister, okay? Look at next one, just. When we use just, we are expressing this to indicate that something happened pretty recently. The teacher has just started the class. I have just seen George passing by. Never expresses something that has not happened. They have never been to Florida. John has never driven a tractor. Ever. We use it for questions and affirmatives. Have you ever danced ballet? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. This is the, show, the best show I have ever seen. Or this is the best show I have seen ever. Yet, still, okay. This one, both of them means exactly the same, okay? But the position is different. Look, you use yet at the end of the sentence. I have not traveled to Europe yet. She still has She still has not found a new job. Four, look, we use it to talk about minutes, days, weeks, okay? Months, 
years, etc. Let's see, Anna has been a teacher at Inem for 15 years. For three years, they have studied at Inem. Since, okay, this is about a certain moment in time. So in this one, we use the date, okay? The exact date. We have been in quarantine since March 16, 2010. Since 2010, my father has worked at that company. Okay, let's see what happened. Oops, oops, oops. Sorry, guys. My screen is acting up. Just give me a second. I just need to. Okay, that's perfect. Now I can see you clearly. Okay. Now, 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 now. Let's go back to the manual because this complements with something in the manual. Esto se complementa con algo del manual. Okay. I'll show you why. Why am I going into this? Les voy a mostrar por qué estamos en esto. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where's the manual? Hold on. I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay. How to use time expressions? We use four plus period of time. I work in Indiana for seven years. We use scenes plus a specific points in the past. I have worked there since 2005. We use from to stay the start and end of time. I stay there from January to November. You see, from to, desde hasta, okay? Use then to introduce a new event in a series. I worked in that company until 2011. Then, entonces, I quit. Okay? Hey guys, who's writing? ¿Quién me está escribiendo? Use until to mark the end of an activity period of time. I work in Panama until my project was over. Okay. Now, this exercise, exercise five is homework for you. You are going to use four scenes from too long, okay? You are going to do that. And now we are going to do a different type of activity. Listen up. Do you remember that at the beginning I was asking you how long have you worked for that company? Have you ha, have you occupied different positions in other companies? Do you remember that exercise we were doing? Yes? Okay. Now, you are going to do that exercise working in groups. You will have to take notes about the information that your that your classmates that your partners provide to you okay why because i am going to ask you about your partners in your group so you will report to me about what your partner said is it clear yes yeah did you clear perfect excellent so now I am going to divide you in groups so we can work. Let me just recreate the groups. You're going to be working in groups of two and three members, okay? So let's see, let's see, let's see. Just let me see. Perfect. Groups are created. Please jump in.
Hi, William. Uh, William, William, how are you? Hi, hi. Okay. So, William, ¿sí me entendió la actividad? Very teacher. Okay. Remember, the activity is eh, lo que estábamos haciendo hace un ratito. Que yo les preguntaba, eh, ¿ha tenido otras, ha ocupado otras posiciones en otra compañía? ¿Cuál es su experiencia trabajando? Okay. That's what you are going to do. In the case of William, he is working uh, in a little bit different than you guys. In the case of him, we are helping him in other things. So he is going to be taking notes. I need William to, in his case today, take more notes than what he is going to talk. Okay? Okay. But still, if you can provide one or two sentences, that would be perfect. Pero si me lo puede facilitar una o dos oraciones, sería excelente. Okay? Okay. And any question, you can, if I'm not here, you can, uh, you can text me. Cualquier pregunta, si no estoy por aquí, you can text me, okay? Don't be afraid, these guys are cool. Thanks. Yes. Hello. 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 We yeah. have a, a little. <laughs> okay. What you are going to do what? is this. Okay. You are going. Do you remember the, the conversation we had? ¿Se recuerda la conversación que teníamos? Uh, in the conversation, they were talking about the job experience. What have you done? Do you remember that I asked you, uh, Daniel? Have you occupied different positions in another company? And you started telling me about how you were working for your parents' company and that you work for another company in projects, okay? Yes. yes. Now, I need you to pass that information to Claudia, okay? And Claudia, okay, Claudia is going to tell you, oh, okay, I am a math teacher, so in the Mathematica, and Claudia, you're going to tell him, I have work in the school, you work in a public school, Claudia? Trabaja en una escuela pública? Or a private no. school? A private. Okay. It's so listen, private. I have worked in a private school for, let's say, cuánto tiempo? And you tell him if you have worked in another, what's your experience? Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. No, Thank you're you. welcome. No problem. No problem, guys. Uh, our account, our account drawer. A what? Big four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, teacher. It's the, I, I, I work and before this job, I work uh, as our account drawer. Mm, for four years. Okay, as a what? I'm sorry, I didn't get, quite get it. <laughs> uh, the one to the AutoCAD picture, AutoCAD drawer. Oh, AutoCAD, AutoCAD, AutoCAD. designer. Eso no, es, <laughs> eso no es dibujar, eso es diseñar. Ah, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's Dibujar's AutoCAD. Only, only hand, hand drawer. Sí, sí podría dibujar usted en una máquina. Puede dibujar en una máquina, of course. Pero no en AutoCAD. En AutoCAD is not drawing. That's designing. Es, yes. Estoy hablando mm -hmm. de un programa específico para un área específica. Mm -hmm. And in that case, is, ese es un programa no de dibujo. Es un programa de diseño. Sí, de diseño. Mm -hmm. okay. In, eh, Diseño industrial sería. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, you guys were lucky with that team. Fueron afortunados con el AutoCAD. <laughs> yeah, I remember doing everything, making plans by hand, on paper. Yo hacía plans yes. a mano. Yes, it's true. Really. It's was very horrible. difficult. That was it's very horrible. difficult. Yeah, mm -hmm. I used to draw electrical plans. A mí me tocaba dibujar planos eléctricos. That's crazy. By hand. Oh, horrible. 
uh, electrical plant has uh, many symbols. Yep, yeah. a lot, a lot, lot of symbols. A lot of symbols. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. You are I an remember... electric engineer teacher. Well, or... no, actually I'm an electrical technician. Okay. Among and, other... And what happened with this knowledge? Well, actually, I, yeah, I work as an electrician. I, I used to work in, uh, trabajé con alta y baja tensión. I was working in, in Torres. And I was also working in, I guess, donde aprendí a trabajar with uh, big motors, trifásicos, motores trifásicos. And what uh, switch? The, the work? What, what switch, switch the oh, work? Oh, okay. The situation is <laughs> it's, this. It's, it's very different. Yes, the situation is this. My father wanted me to be an electrical engineer. I wanted to be a teacher. Okay. So when I was studying on my father's budget, it was electricity. When I started studying on my own, it was as a teacher. Right? Okay. But but I mean I have work of that. Yo he trabajado eso. I was I was working um, as I told you installing. Uh, Controls, instalando controles para maquinaria pesada, eh, programando which, PLC. In which company, teacher? Actually, eh, I was working with an engineer. No recuerdo el nombre de la compañía, era un ingeniero. He left the country. Él dejó el país. Mm -hmm. And he taught me actually how to speak English. Y él me enseñó a hablar inglés. Really? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, because at the beginning I was pretty interested in literature. Yeah, because it was an interesting experience. Yeah. So with him, I worked also with a little bit of electronics. I aprendí un poquito de electrónica. And, but, uh, not my thing. No lo mío. I mean, I do it. I do it. Like, I came today home. Me tocó salir, regresé. And my nephew and my son messed up the, the fan, the ceiling fan. Me habían arruinado el... el ventilador de techo, and I mean, uh, I just got my tools, and just with one hand, and a little bit with the other one, I fixed it up. Oh, nice. So, I use it, but once on a while, I add it But it's not, no, not to you. Nah, not my thing. No okay. more. Okay. I mean, but still, sometimes I do my little jobs. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I have. I am, you, you get I have, some money. Yeah, extra money for me, man. That's <laughs> cool. You know, you don't know how happy my wife gets whenever I get an extra job. Why? Because she asked me whenever I get any extra job. Siempre que consigo algún trabajo extra, me dice, ya nos pagaron. I don't know why when I get money, it's us. <laughs> As money, the yeah. work is only to you, but the yeah. money is us yeah, yeah. money. Our money. Our, our money, money, our money, yeah. Okay, guys, keep on. Okay. Okay, you provide, you provide the people the insurance of your company bring. The insurance policies. The insurance policy, sorry. Insurance. Uh, how do you say insurance in Spanish? Seguro. Oh. Seguro. 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 But no. No. My, my work what do you do? Is... What do you do, Maria? Oh, you. No. No, I am Nicolas. I... Nicolas. <laughs> it's Nicolas teacher. Uh -huh. No, my, my work is actions. Action is uh, actions. Uh, uh, the environment. Uh, yes, environment and protection. Environmental. Uh, environmental. Forest, forest, the areas and in rural, rural areas. Okay. Uh, the forest, uh, the forest, the forested, yeah. and my action are is a protection 
this resource. Okay. Uh, and absorber, absorber agua. Absorber. Absorb water. Absorb water. water in these uh, these areas. Uh, okay, in these areas. Other other actions are uh, construction. They are the construction of water systems for uh, water systems for the people. For, for for the people for, for rural people. Ah okay, okay. Back, uh, basically, your work. Uh, you actually on this work, on this job. Yes, actually, is my work. Uh, uh, okay. Correctly. Okay. And and your work. And I work. Okay, my people, let's see. Now, what are you going to do? Because it's almost time, man. Time flies by. The tempo will are here. So what's your activity here? Well, now you took notes, okay? Ustedes tomaron notas. If you didn't take them as soon as we finish, why? Because what we are going to do is this. You, tomorrow I'm going to ask you about one specific person from your group, okay? Yo mañana le voy a preguntar sobre uno de sus compañeros. Ok. So, you will need to provide me the information about your classmates. That's for tomorrow. So, take notes. Tomemos nota. Ok. Any question? ¿Preguntas? No. Ok. Let me get the attendance. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. The homework eh, is for tomorrow. Yep. The homework, uh, the platform, in in the platform. No, uh, no. Hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, man, that's true. Nosotros comenzamos en. Mm -hmm. eh, les voy a comunicar el día de mañana. Debería ser el día lunes por la noche. El límite para terminar la sección 1 de la plataforma, porque nosotros hemos comenzado martes. ¿Ok? Entonces yo les voy a confirmar el día de mañana. Déjenme solamente consultar con mi jefa. Si es que no les conformo, confirmo más tarde en el grupo. Voy a hablar con mi jefa hoy en unos minutos, tan pronto terminemos. ¿Ok? Sí. Now, let's see. Uh, let me please, guys. Help me out with the attendance. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Amber, you stay with me, right? Okay. Carlos Antonio Murillo. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present. Fernando. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Present. Yes, yes, uh, I know. My bad, my bad, my bad. I mean, do something. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez, present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. 
Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio de García. Present teacher. Francisco José Menéndez Aguilar. Present teacher. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. I see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, Elvia. Good night. <laughs>
Estamos en principiante 6, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. Unit 1. Onward 2. Tarea 2. Oración 4. Sí. Ok. Sí, tenemos un problemita y qué bueno que lo podemos ver. Si es que la única respuesta que le aceptaría es employees. Mm. To have happy employees. Pero employees no es la que aparece entre las opciones arriba. Aparece staff. Uh -huh. La otra también, igual la de María. Me daba error, se la hice de varias formas y no, no sé si es que está mal o yo... Solo termino. María. María could be. María could be of great help. Of great. Of great help, yes. Um, the, the department invent of no. The in the inventory, in the inventory. Mm -hmm. Department. Y siempre piden las oraciones que le pongamos un punto al final, ¿verdad? Yes, that's correct. Sí, ahora sí, sí, ahora sí me salió. Entonces solo sería la, la cuatro la que estaba. Yep. Y en ese caso sería que se corrige, ¿verdad? Con los técnicos. Vaya, eh, sí. Y espero que no nos pase lo de la vez pasada. Lo acabo de reportar ya a dos de ellos. Y esperemos que muy pronto me lo solventen. Háganme el favor de recordarme mañana. Para que no, Vaya, perdamos, no perdamos la nota. Sí, sí, le voy a acordar. Porque sí estaba con eso desde la mañana que lo quería hacer. Y no me salía ya con la de María, sí. Yo lo estaba haciendo mal, pero esa sí la hice de todas formas y no me salía. Ok, perfecto. No, it's. I'm glad to be of help and glad that you helped me to fix that. That up. Qué bueno que usted nos ayudó a corregir eso. Is there any other question? Hay otra cosita. Mm, for a moment, no. At the moment, no. I just want to sleep, you say. Yes, I. <laughs> I'm sleeping tomorrow. Mañana me toca madrugar. Ok. To, ri to rise early. To rise early. To rise early. Solo me rectifica okay. lo de la tarea adicional que dejó para mañana, teacher. Oh, simplemente que las... Uh, ¿Lo que habló con los compañeros tomó nota? Sí, sí. Alguna cosa. Ok, de eso le voy a preguntar. Sobre ellos. Um, ok. Está bien. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you.